Hey, welcome to my channel, Medicosis Perfectionalis. Let's talk about Wells' criteria for pulmonary embolism. So, Wells' criteria, or Wells' score, is a score system to predict the probability of pulmonary embolism. In other words, is PE here likely or not? This is not to confirm the diagnosis of PE, it's just a probability score. Is it probable or not? And there's a mnemonic to remember all of the criteria of the Wells score coming up. So here are the criteria of Wells score. If there are clinical signs and symptoms of deep vein thrombosis, we add three points. If the pulmonary embolism is the most likely diagnosis, another three points. Tachycardia is there, one and a half. History of immobilization for at least three days, one and a half. History of DVT or PE before, one and a half. Hemoptysis or malignancy, one point for each. Then we add all of these up and get the total. And at the end of the video, I'll tell you how to interpret the result. Is there high probability or low probability? So here is the mnemonic. Let's divide all of these criteria into three categories. Those criteria, three points. These ones, one and a half. And these two, one. So the three points criteria can be judged by a doctor clinical signs and symptoms and p is the most likely diagnosis you need a doctor to claim this issue clinical sense okay so comes the doctor with two criteria three points each criteria for one and a half can be deduced by a nurse tachycardia immobilization for at least three days and history of dvtpe the the nurse has like the record she knows the history she knows the history of immobilization and tachycardia she can see it on the monitor so the nurse can say all of this stuff for one and a half each okay a relative for the patient to the patient such as his mother for example hemoptysis or malignancy she can tell you yes he has cancer or there is a history of cancer and there is hemoptysis so each of them get you one point so doctor clinical signs and symptoms p is the most likely diagnosis nurse tachycardia immobilization for at least three days history of dvt or pe his mother hemoptysis and malignancy the doctor three points each the nurse one and a half points each the mother one point each these are the wells criteria i hope this makes sense now how to interpret the results if the score is more than six i.e the total is more than six that's high probability from two to six that's moderate probability from less than two that's low so high intermediate low another way to look at them if the score is more than four pe is likely what shall we do we do imaging such as what such as pulmonary ct and geography what if the patient like has kidney problem and cannot tolerate the contrast in the dye so we will do v q scan what if the score is less than 4? PE is unlikely. We need a test with high negative predictive value. Why? To rule out pulmonary embolism. To make sure that the patient does not have this condition. Such as D-dimer. Or we can do ultrasound of the deep veins of the leg. So, these were the Wells criteria pulmonary pulmonary embolism i hope you have enjoyed the video please subscribe to get new videos every single week thank you very much for your support 
enjoy studying medicine because medicine is so cool.